Hey, hey, this is meteorologist Darren Har from ILSnow.com, January 12th, 2017, starting off at 6 p.m. And yeah, it stinks out there. Temperatures in the 40s, raining, fog, melting the snow away. It went from uh, very nice yesterday right down to the crapper today. But the good news is it will get colder for the weekend and kind of lock everything back up. And as pretty well advertised, the next uh, week or two, not going to be very favorable. But I think we just got to step back and take, it to, take a look at the big picture here. Uh, we've already had a better winter than last year. And in the scope of any almost any winter, uh, we have these setbacks. And the January thaw is a January thaw for a reason. It happens enough to have its own name. So I hear people on Facebook saying, oh, this is a crappy winter, it's over, it's done. And I'm thinking, really? We're, we're better off than we were last winter already, and we got a whole lot of time to go. So uh, let me uh, break this down for you. And you're looking at the CFS V2 pattern or chart for next week, and you can see this... Um, huge area of storminess over the Alaska and if you've listened to me for any length of time that's indicative of uh, the positive EPO and I call it the Alaskan assassin because when you have that uh, situation up in Alaska where you have storminess low pressures it gets warm here it's like death taxes whatnot and uh, you can see it's uh, this chart here shows it going almost off to scale here for the middle of January so um, there's no getting around it. It's going to be on the mild side the next uh, week or two. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. However, it won't be warm all the time, but I don't see any uh, significant snowstorms coming out of this. We're going to have to get pretty lucky. However, though, as we go further along, as I show you into next week, it gets really stormy here over Alaska and very... Uh, a lot of uh, higher pressures over eastern Canada. And you can see the warmth here during the same time period, the 19th to the 26th. Extremely warm in Hudson's Bay area. We're talking temperatures 13 to 15 degrees centigrade above normal, which is well over 25 degrees above normal for this time of year. And it traps the colder in Alaska. So there's there's no way you're getting Arctic outbreaks uh, for lake effect snow events um, pretty much for the next couple of weeks. So just take that off the table right now. But an amazing thing here, and the climate models have been showing this for several runs in a row, look how this pattern just collapses in just one week. Look at the EPO Plus in, in Alaska here, and it just it just dies. It's gone, it, it, and the polar vortex is back to where it should be, somewhere in northern Canada. you got higher pressures starting to build over Alaska. And lo and behold, you have some kind of storm track here, and this map is for January 26th through February 2nd. You can't really use these maps to point out potential singular events, but this is showing the, the possibility of an active storm track here for the eastern United States the tail end of January into the first uh, days of February. So that's something we got to watch for. And if that happens, we could get well in a hurry. And then as you go deeper into February, the polar vortex drops further south into Canada. You have high pressure building over Alaska. And you have hints of high pressures building over the North Pole and into Greenland with a negative NAO. And as you press further into uh, February, uh, even more so. And then it uh, looks like the northern jet stream track could be very active. So you're going to have numerous clipper systems, lake effect snow events. Uh, you know, Based on what I've seen so far this winter, uh, how it's been able to bounce back from almost any setback we've placed before it, I feel pretty confident that uh, late January and into February, we're gonna start to we're gonna start to get better and possibly get better in a hurry. Now I don't know whether this will hold through the whole month of February, uh, but that's a while away. And I just want to give you some hope. Uh, 
some realistic hope that things will be changing around in our favor again. And we just got to think some positive thoughts. Last winter's behind us. We, you know, we've had a solid first part of the winter leading up to this point. Uh, we're having our January thaw. And then uh, once we do this uh, nice little pattern flip here from uh, the Alaskan assassin to a negative EPO and ridging over Alaska, get the cross polar flow, uh, we'll start to get things going again. So keep the faith, have your sled ready to go again, and I'll see you next time here at the IL Snowstorm Center.